case last year. Do you anticipate there being challenges to or a change in the way that the FDA regulates software as a medical device, especially in the context of AI? There are uh, seven different Supreme Court decisions that have an impact on the operations of federal agencies and specifically the FDA. I'd say in terms of the basic functioning from the FDA as it currently exists, no big change because there's been an assumption at FDA for a decade that, Chev that uh, Chevron was essentially overturned anyway in the way the courts were operating. The main issue uh, under Chevron is if Congress didn't specify exactly what the FDA should do or any federal agency, Chevron deference meant that the courts would defer to the federal agency as having the expertise to interpret the law. And what uh, this decision says is uh, you can't assume that anymore. If Congress didn't say it, then the courts are going to decide. So this means that the administrative record, as, it calls, as it's called, has to be much tighter than, let's say, it was 20 years ago. I mean, the idea that courts are going to be able to adjust to a rapidly changing area like AI doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And so I think a lot of the work going forward is going to be how do we, given decisions that the Supreme Court has made, how do we work with Congress to develop a regulatory schema that can be adaptable to changes that we can't even anticipate now?